Hey everybody, we've had this drone flute sitting around in the shop for a while. I thought I'd shoot a quick video and show you how to fix this voicing issue. The thipple is too long, which makes the upper register, the higher notes on it, kind of fade away and be really weak and squeaky. Take a listen. It's just plain bad sounding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chip it, which is what we call making the fipples short again when they're too long. Here's our cedar flute chipping chips. These are little pieces that we cut on the bandsaw. We take a piece of tape and attach it to the back of the cedar, and then we um, cut little strips. Uh, what I've done is I've found two that are the same width I'm gonna glue them in so that the wood grain uh, runs along the, from side to side rather than up and down because we don't want it to swell uh, or change from humidity would, would has a tendency to change sizes so even when it's sealed. So um, I'm uh, sanding it to fit widthwise here. This is just a little bit of sandpaper I have uh, glued to a piece of wood. We use these to file our fipples. I'm trimming the chip to size. It needs to be the right size lengthwise and widthwise. I'm coating this with thin super glue just to make sure the wood's fully sealed. Of course, I'm getting it all over my fingers. Uh, this is just too delicate of a process to be able to use gloves. And I can use tweezers a little bit, but I'm pretty much going to have to have super glue all over my hands. Now I'm taking thick super glue. Um, we like to use Starbond super glue. It's a really nice brand and they have a lot of different options. Um, and I basically just put that on the part of the thipple there where I am going to be placing the chip. That's the back end of the thipple, not the ramp end. Now I am sort of carefully fitting that. I had to reshape it a few times uh, and I'm just sliding that down in there, being really, really careful not to drop it down inside the flute because then I'd have to fish it out and it would have glue all over it, probably get stuck. So I'm kind of using one of my hands, my fingers, to put pressure on it to hold it in place. And once it's stuck, I can let go of it. Now I'm using this screwdriver to push against it really hard um, while I spritz it with the accelerator. And then I'm just using a little bit of super glue there to fill in the gap between the flute and the chip. There should be a very small gap. There you go. This will have to be sanded still. I'm going to do the other side. You don't want to put glue in both sides at once because that glue dries pretty quick. Using that screwdriver again. That just helps me put a little bit more even pressure on the full length of that chip. Mm. Both are in place, but they're a little proud. So the deck of the flute is gonna have to be sanded again. Too bad this drone was already varnished before we uh, caught the voicing issue. It was probably something that happened when I was uh, preparing the flute and I was probably trying to square the thipple out a little bit and lengthened it too much. So this is, I'm using 180 grit sandpaper. Um, I have it on a piece of laminate flooring and we love using laminate flooring for sanding the decks on flutes it's just perfectly flat um and that makes sure that your deck is perfectly flat so i've got that nice and smooth now and it looks really good
I'm gonna use a rubber band so I can quickly adjust the blocks and remove them if I need to. I'm gonna give this flute a play. Pull the dust out. Okay, so it's jumpy. That means that I shortened the fipples a little bit too much, which is a better problem than having them too long. So I'm just lengthening them a little bit again. And I can do this very incrementally and very carefully to make sure that I don't over lengthen them again. So now I'm gonna put the blocks back on and test it. And I have to do this a few times because I'm trying to be really, really careful to not make those fipples too long again. So you'll see me put them back on, take them off by a little bit more, and then put them back on again until I get that voice perfect. Um, if your flute has a jumpy fundamental, um, when, you're, when you're making your flute, like if you're making your flute from a kit or if you're making your flute from scratch and you're getting a really jumpy fundamental, one of the reasons for that can be that the fipple is too short and needs to be lengthened a little bit. Here's the final outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.